Dimitra Kori is a five-time Greek national figure skating champion. She's also a talented singer and filmmaker. And from being on the ice to behind the camera, she joins me to chat all about it. Hi. Hello. <laughs> really happy to be here today. I'm happy you can take the time out um, to join me today. So you are a figure skating champion, singer, and filmmaker. How do you juggle it all? Well, I don't get enough sleep, <laughs> to be perfectly <laughs> honest. Um, yeah, basically, uh, I love my espresso because I'm Greek, you know, my Fredo Espresso Metrio, that, that's life. Exactly. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just really passionate about all three. So I try my best to make as much time as possible to get it all done and fit as much as I can in a day. Yeah. So when did you become serious um, about figure skating in particular? actually pretty late in the game. Uh, I started skating when I was about five or six years old, but when I was a kid, you know, my parents would take me to Greece every summer. So I would take three months off and I'd be like practicing my figure skating jumps, like on the beach, um, running, you know, jumping off the vrachia, like doing axles into the water, just like the, you know, that crazy, super active kid. Um, and then I think I was about 14 actually, when I decided that I was gonna, you know, buckle down and not go to Greece and like train throughout my summers, which is pretty late in the game for a figure skater. Like a lot of the Russian girls by 14 or 15, they're landing triple triples. And that wasn't my story, but I decided I was gonna do it anyways. Um, so yeah, and then I got on the national team for Greece when I was 19. And at the time I was at a uh, university at Loyola in Chicago. So then I was juggling uh, competing with um, this international figure skating career. So yeah, that was that was a trip, literally, and having to talk to my instructors about it and reschedule final exams sometimes. Um, but yeah, thinking back, I'm like, I don't even know how how did I do that? <laughs> like yeah, but I did it. Yeah. Yeah, it goes to show too when you have determination and you want you have a goal and you want to get it done, you can do anything really. Right. Anything you set your mind to. Yeah, exactly. So you are a five-time national figure skating champion and have been representing Greece since 2011. How do you feel every time you're on the ice? I feel free. I feel like I'm at home. And because Greece always felt like home to me, being able to skate in Greece is like the ultimate zen for me. It just, it feels right. And I love performing for a Greek audience, especially because figure skating is still like, you know, it's not that popular there. So even like the littlest tricks in Greece are just like people appreciate it more and you get more applause. And it's just really awesome to feel that from an audience. It's almost like equivalent though to skating in Asia, because I feel like they really understand the difficulty of the sport as well. I've only performed there once. It was in Kazakhstan and it was my worst performance. However, the reaction from the crowd, even when you fail, like they, they cheer you on to like get you going. And I, I really love that. And I, I think I'm like Lady Gaga. I live for the applause a little bit. So, but um, yeah, I think that's the, the coolest part about skating in Greece is just like the, the love you get from the audience. And how important is it for you um, as a Greek of the diaspora to be able to represent Greece in, in that way? I think it's very important and I think it's even more important now during uh, during the pandemic it was like crucial that I got back on my feet as it was like the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life though because we went for I think it was about four months without any ice even even in the US even all over the world I think the only country that still had ice was Sweden I looked into it I was I was texting like other skaters in Sweden I was like hey can I can I like crash at your place and come <laughs> skate like I was just trying to do anything I could in my in my power to get back on the ice and even though it wasn't possible, I tried to just like hit, hit the gym whenever I could. Even the gyms were closed. So a lot of it was just like home workouts, um, you know, buying equipment, elastic bands, weights. Um, and, and yeah, so I just knew that I needed to keep going so that other kids could keep going as well. Because I knew that if I stopped, what would happen to the figure skating scene? It already got cut in half. Right. So I, I just needed to be that, that inspiration for everybody else. So Dimitra, you majored um, in film in college. What inspired you to go into film? 
I picked up a camera for the first time when I was actually in high school. I took a video production class and they asked us to make a film about your passion. So the very first film I ever made was about figure skating. So again, it was a combination of being able to capture something else that I was so passionate about, so excited about, and seeing how that could then, you know, boost my figure skating career. And like, so I found a way to incorporate video production into everything else that I liked in life. Um, so that, and then just um, really liking pairing motion with, with sound too, which is basically what choreography and figure skating is as well. Right. Um, so yeah, it just hit a lot of the same points. Yeah. And I wanna to talk to you about that as well, because I know that you've written, produced and directed various projects um, from documentaries to short films and music videos as well. Quarantine Valentine is also now a finalist um, in the California Music Video Awards. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, I know that you directed, starred in and choreographed the project. Tell us a little bit more about it. So Quarantine Valentine was my, literally my quarantine baby. And we shot that on synthetic ice because it was filmed when there was no ice. Right. So I invested in some polyglide um, ice. It's, it's like, it's, you know, it's a lot more um, stiff and there's more friction on that ice than real ice, but you know, it was a way to keep skating. Um, so we set that all up and then I also had to, because I couldn't afford an entire ice arena of <laughs> synthetic ice, I actually had to CGI a lot of the other ice in that. So I did all these crazy visual effects um, and yeah, that's part of the Kitty Kitty project, um, which yeah, it's spelled Kitte, K-I-T-T-E-H-X, Kitte. And um, yeah, we're releasing EDM music under that. And it's just something uh, more like progressive and a way to take the figure skating element out of the, the classical realm is how I see it. And yeah, Quarantine Valentine actually also just won best VFX at uh, Euro Video Song. Nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really proud of that achievement just because it actually was my first time taking on that big of a visual effects project. So yeah. And I know we talked a little bit about this now, but what was it like for you creating the project during the pandemic? Um, I've said this before in an interview and I say it about my skating and I, I think it applies to this as well. It was, it was cathartic. Um, it just uh, was a, a way to release all of these emotions that we were all feeling about how the government was taking over and not letting us live our lives and um, be free, so to say. So because skating makes me feel free, uh, this was a way of, yeah, putting um, figure skating in a like snow globe sort of like of what the quarantine was. Yeah. And from music to filmmaking to being on the ice, I feel like they all have a creative element in a way. So does one kind of always inspire the other for you? I would, I would say so, yeah. I, I think it's it's rare that um, I feel that skating doesn't inspire me in, in anything else in life, even in like the most simplest, like maybe if I was working at Starbucks, I'd still find a way to incorporate <laughs> figure skating. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely um, a pillar in my life. Do you think you'd ever focus just on one career? Or are you the type of person that are always gonna have different things going on? Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe when I get old, I'll settle down and just <laughs> stick to one thing. But uh, as of right now, I, I love being able to do more than more than one thing and just keeping myself occupied like that. Yeah. Nice. And what's next for you? Um, Greek Nationals, uh, the 2022 National Championship. And I'm very excited to be going back to Greece. And um, after that, of course, you know, I'm releasing more music and more music videos. So, yeah. Nice. Well, Dimitra, we wish you all the best with that. Thank you so much for taking out the time to speak with me. Absolutely. I have one more thing, actually, what? that I forgot to talk about. I am doing an NFT drop. Oh, nice. Tell me about that. Yeah. So with Quarantine Valentine, uh, we're releasing about 30 different NFTs that are gifts with the special effects from the music video. And uh, with each purchase of that, you'll get VIP access to screen the music video. And on top of that, you get uh, exclusive merchandise and you become one of our VIPs for our first show. So I, yeah, I'm really happy I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Very cool. Yeah. Well, Dimitra, thank you so much for joining me. And to keep up with Dimitra's work, head over to dimitracori.com and don't forget to follow her on Instagram. That's at Dimitra Kori.